Hello and welcome. So I am super excited. It is finally December. So I am going to make a gingerbread house today. My initial plan was to have my close friends over and we were gonna make hot chocolate and each decorate a gingerbread house. But we are not allowed to have a single person over to our house right now because of the new restrictions. So I'm gonna make a gingerbread house by myself and it's still gonna be fun. So I got this gingerbread house from Costco. Super affordable price and it says it's a gingerbread mansion. So that's pretty exciting. Also, I'm pretty sure it's already built, which makes it fun because I can just get right into the decorating. So I'm gonna start by unboxing this, not breaking it, and <laughs> seeing what this gingerbread house came with. Oh okay. And then I might use some of my own cake decorating supplies. Woo! This is very exciting. Okay, so right on top we got some red icing. These little peppermint swirls. Oh, these are really cute. They're like Christmas sprinkles. Okay, I gotta get the house out. Okay. I can't get the house out yet. There's too many things around it. Okay, this more cute Christmas sprinkles. Comes with a lot of stuff. These little, are these jujubes? Is this what these are called? Um, oh, these are like little lights. That's adorable. Green icing. Okay, let's see if I can get it out now. Why can't I get this down? Let's take this out first. Okay, so here's some gingerbread pieces. It looks like it comes with trees. I'm not really sure what these other pieces are, but gingerbread men. Oh, this is like the top of the house. Cool. Big old bag of icing. Okay, now I should be able to take this out. So we got some stars, some trees, and some a star tip and a circle tip for your icing bag. And here she is, my gingerbread mansion. It's very exciting. Okay, let's open her up kind of in good condition, but there's like a little tiny part on the back that looks like it might be broken, but we'll just make that the back. It's not like super secure on the piece of cardboard. It just kinda looks like that, but I'm gonna make this part the back and kinda clean all this up. Yeah, okay. It's telling me that step one is you gotta warm this icing pack up. And then it's telling me to put together the root part. So I think I, I'm gonna put it this way for display because it's bigger than a normal gingerbread house. This kind of has to be the front. Okay, so I'm gonna get these little pieces out first. This is kind of scary. You have to like break them apart. Feels like I'm gonna break them. You gotta, yeah, there we go. Okay, easy peasy. The trick is to hold it close to where you're gonna break it so that you don't break anything. Okay, so I got all these little pieces now. Okay, so in your little pieces, the big pieces you use for the trees, so you put the long side like this, and it's gonna use to stand it up. So each tree gets a big triangle. Then you're left with four triangles. Two of them are for the gingerbread men. So you're gonna put it like this to hold the little gingerbread men up. Then the other two you're gonna use for this. And we're gonna make it a little triangle and then this goes whoa, right here. You have to use some scissors to cut this. 
So I'm going to construct this and then let it harden so I can put it on the house. Okay, I need to let my little rooftop piece just sit and harden for like 10 minutes. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my thing to dry, I'm gonna do the top. I think I'm just gonna put a bunch of icing along it. Make it. I already had icing from when they assembled it. And then I just have, you can use, it comes with like red balls, but I'm just gonna use some white balls that I have. Top. Okay, I'm gonna be putting the roof thing here, but it's not quite dry and you wanna make sure it really does dry before you add it or else, again, it'll just be kind of frustrating if it falls over. So I think I'm gonna work on the front a little bit. I kind of want to do what they did. So they did green on the door and then outlined it with white and added some candy cane handles. And I'm gonna start by filling in the door with the green. I'm gonna let that harden and then I will outline it with the white later. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to add this now. I think I'm gonna need to hold it here for quite a few minutes just so it actually Days, because I can definitely see this falling off. And I might just add some icing along the edge. Seems to be staying, let's hope. Um, I'm gonna add, change this tip to the circle tip. Okay, what I wanna do for the roof is cover it with green icing, spread it around, and then go over top with the white. Kind of the same idea as the door. So basically I'm just gonna squeeze a bunch of this on and then spread it around with the knife. This icing thing has a hole in the corner so it is spewing out the top. Okay, it looks kind of terrible right now. <laughs> it's just like grossly green. But I'm gonna be adding white outlines and, and snow and um, these little guys. So it'll look better, I promise. So I just spread green all around and spread it around. It was spewing out of the top, so I had some slight issues. Okay, I'm gonna put these guys out and basically make, like, what is this called, holly? Where you have like the little red dot and the green leaf here and the green leaf here. And add those along. I'm also gonna add lots of snow icicles and snow. And I'm gonna try and do the little lines in the roof. Somehow I got a hole in this bag too, like what is happening? Um, so it is also spewing out of this bag. Okay, the hole in the icing bag is making it like really difficult, but this is what we got so far. I'm gonna do some drippy icicles now. So I'm gonna do big, Drippy icicles. Okay, this is where we are so far. This part is obviously not done, but I outlined this and did the roof. I still need to do this little part. This is a lot more frustrating than I anticipated. The hole in two of my icing bags is really annoying. I'm gonna use this one and see if there's a hole in this one. Hopefully not. 
because A, it's making a mess and I have to keep washing my hands and B, it's just frustrating and I'm wasting a lot of icing. Okay, let's, let's keep rolling. I'm gonna try and do this part now. Okay, I feel like it's getting cuter the more I add to it. So these guys are kind of slipping. I'm gonna have to hold these guys for a little bit. But I did this little, little roof part and it's slowly getting cuter. These are really slipping. I'm gonna hold these for a minute. Then I'm gonna work on this front section. I think, it, I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, I don't hate it. It came it came together a little better. Um, it's still just like messier than I'd like it to look, but you know, it came together. Um, I like, I put the white on the bottom and add it like little sprinkles and I think that looks, that looks really nice. I think it annoys me that I put the lights here cause that's like not where you would put lights, but I don't know. <laughs> I made a very big mess, I know that much. And I still need to do something on like that side. Okay, so here is my finished gingerbread mansion. I added a snowflake on top. I have this snowflake mold from Wilton and I just melted some blue candy melts into it and made this little snowflake to go on top just kind of a cute little touch and it matches the little blue snowflakes that came with the kit. Overall, I would definitely recommend this Costco gingerbread kit. It comes with a ton of stuff for the price that it is. I did not even use all the candy. It comes with so much and the fact that it's pre-built just makes it so much easier. All you have to do is put this on, which if you didn't want to put that on or it was going badly, you could totally just not use that part of it. It held up pretty good. I just kind of had to hold it a little bit while it dried and it's like a teensy bit crooked, but it's not bad. And then I think the only thing I would do different is next time I would use my own icing and icing bags just because I use icing all the time for cupcakes and cakes and this icing was just very frustrating because two out of the three things of icing had a hole in it. So when you squeeze it, it comes out the hole as well as where you want it to come out. And it just made it very messy. I wasted a lot of icing because it was spewing out and I just kept having to wash my hands because I was getting it all over. And I tried to like cover the hole, but it just kept spewing out. <laughs> So I think next time I will still use that icing, but make my own icing. And this stuff's also, it's super thick, which is really good for putting things together that need to be held together. But for doing things like the roof and stuff, I think I'd like the consistency of the icing that I make myself better to make it look a little better. This kind of looks a little messy, but overall this was super fun once I got over the frustrating icing 
problems and it's super cute. And I'm gonna go find a little cute spot for it in my house. Thank you so much for watching this fun little gingerbread house decorating video. I will see you in my next Christmassy video. Okay, here's my little setup. <laughs>